Welcome to this special episode of Starting from Scratch. No dogs raised sold or bred for any legal purposes. This is strictly for historical and educational purposes only. The Tombstone Bolio Klaus Dogs. Phenomenal cross. Great breeders such as Patrick, such as C. Mickles, Otter, Hagro, and others bred this line with success. You see, when I went to Hagro's and he was telling me about um, Grand Chairman Hill being in Kerry Mickles and the line of dogs he had and how good they were, I was amazed how the War Eagles spoke about this man, Kerry Mickles. The breeding of Grand Champion Hill being to Champion Kinky, produced Otters, Runt, P.O.R., Otters, Sweetie, and Hogrose Hell Bins, a.k.a. the Z-Dog, all produced some phenomenal game dogs, down from the Tombstone Bolio Klaus line. And here's the pedigree. See Grand Champion Hell Ben, Champion Kinky. That's a Grand Champion, true Grand Champion. Bred to a true champion. Yeah, they produce these phenomenal dogs. Hogrose Hell Bens. You see, Hogrose told me the story about him losing. He went against his own dogs and lost. Hagro did. Champion Benny Blanco. Jeep and Rufus Cross. Yep. Harry knew how good that fitness bow was. He knew. Harry had a yard boy named Daniel. Daniel pulled me to the side and showed me a breeding. Harry had a real special breeding. Titus Tonka breeding. Harry bred. That was dynamite. The mama was a um, tumbleweed. She was a bad mama. Bad mama. But that you said, I'm going to get one of them. You need to get one too. And I got one. Yeah. Um, then turn around and got um, five. Yeah, War Eagles five. Good dog, too. Yep, straight off hell bends. But his cross was with the um, boils. Yep. It was a Bulls um, Tombstone Bolio Cross, where fire was. Z also produced um, Gunner, multi time winner, and um, Dexter, two time winner. Both phenomenal dogs out of Hell Bends. You see, I knew about another cross of Tombstone Bolio. And it was with Wood Snooty. They see Mims bred. Check out his pedigree on Mims Derby. Phenomenal bred dog. Of Mims Mose and Mims Chug. Cyclone Cremator. Also, a bred dog. Now, check out this dog, uh, Yoakum. Phenomenal looking dog. Phenomenal looking dog. Down from this line right here. Check out his pedigree. Brother and sister breed. Moses and Chug. 
men's yokum. Yep, Tombstone Bolio Snooty. Great dogs. Came down from these dogs. Awesome dogs. I had some. Phenomenal. You see, Harry had um, Cajun lady. Phenomenal bred dog. Yep. My homeboy, um, rest in peace, uh, Mac Ray Judge bred this dog. Um, Hargrove's uh, Cajun lady. Yep. Tombstone, Bolio, Snooty. Red boy bottom. Yeah, the um, Bailey's Bingo stuff, you see it, phenomenal dog, and producer, she produced some good dogs for Hog Grow as well, that's the history, that's the history of um, some great unknown Tombstone Bolio, Snooty Dog. That um, produced phenomenal. With great dogs. It was a phenomenal cross. Phenomenal cross. Yep. The history. You see, I was around these Tombstone Bolio dogs. And I seen the progression of it. And I seen the crosses of it. And they all produce good dogs off of the Tombstone Bolio Cross. Yep. Phenomenal dogs. Caramels with the Klaus Cross. Other people bred it. Put their crosses with it, like the Wild Side, like the like the um the Mims, like the um Bulls. Um you can say Red Boy Jocko. I mean, even down the Jeep, Red Boy. Um, Snooty Red Boy as well. Um, just so many different crosses um, that were bred with the uh, Tombstone Bolio line to produce phenomenal dogs throughout the history. Um, in my humble opinion, um, the line is that good and it continues to be good, bred the way it's being bred, and the cross is being made from from way back then to right now. You know, see, I was just talking about the history way back then with Hog Road and got them dogs. Um, that's just the history of it. That when I had them, that the history, the dogs all gone now. I mean, that those particular dogs, they're ancient history. Especially the ones I had. Even Hargo tried, even Hargo tried to come back and say, you got any of that blood? I, I sold you that time. I was like, man, they dead gone, man. Lord have mercy. It's a long story, man. Long story. Lord have long story. Heartbreaking story. Because, see, I was supposed to preserve that line. and messed around and didn't. But um, all is well there in the dog world when it comes to that as far as the history goes. Because history is history. Yep. It is what it is. Was what it was. But um, those were some good dogs. Great dogs came from the Tombstone Bowlier dogs. Yep. Just happened to be around to see those dogs. I remember asking Harry this one time. What does it take to be number one? Because two is not a winner and three nobody remembers. What does it take to be number one? The answer might surprise you. The old man looked at me and said, after you whoop them right, they're going to put the law on you. 
That's what it take to be number one. I said, well, ooh, I don't want no parts of number one. I understood the lesson. It's like this right here. You don't want to be known. You want to be unknown. Unknown, buddy. You want to be unknown. See? I don't want to be known. I like being unknown. And you don't got to be doing nothing wrong. I just rather stay alone. Unknown. Like the old man said. A couple old men schooled me out to that. Yeah, you don't want to be known. Especially when you got good dogs. Stay tuned. More to come. Everybody's these great American Pit Bull Terriers starting from scratch. Hit the like and subscribe button. More content coming. Stay tuned.